Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends with Mandela Effects. Thanks for joining. Welcome all Mandela Effectings. Hey, I'm joined here by, with Teresa Lynch and I have Ty Zimmer on the line. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hi. How you doing? Thanks for having me on. Hi, Teresa. Oh. Hey, Teresa. Are you there? Hey, hi everyone. Thanks for being yeah. here. We have an urgent message to bring to you guys in, in the not just the Mandela community, but the internet community abroad. Uh, yes. th this one is really uh, crippling. And what what what's happening, Teresa? Uh, can you explain it in a nutshell here? Because I just you sent me this link earlier. What what is this about? Battleforthenet.com. Um, it looks like we are going to be censored by a company called Comcast. Yeah. Um, they want to control what we do online. And right. it's called net neutrality. Yep. And uh, you want me to read a little bit about? We want me to read a little bit about it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you, you read what you know so far, and then we'll go from there. Ty, uh, well, let me read, uh, you can let me follow read up with her too um, if you want. Net neutrality yeah. is the principle that all traffic on the internet should be treated equally. Under net neutrality protections, internet services providers, which is ISPS are barred from blocking, slowing, or providing preferred treatment to particular sites and services. The rules are designed to keep the Internet open to all um, comers and give everyone a fair shot. Without net neutrality protection, ISPS can block you from streaming oh, let me stop from this. I'm Netflix sorry. or YouTube or charge you extra just to access these sites. On the flip side, they could force Netflix or YouTube to pay them to ensure that their videos were streamed to their users at the same time. And um, how this can affect us, um, it says normal internet users like you and me will lose out with the repeal of the net neutrality rules. Okay, so it won't happen overnight, but you can expect broadband providers to start limiting what you can access on the internet or charging you more to get to the sites and services you regularly use. Right. Also, oh, that's not cool. Now I, now I understand companies. what she's talking about. Now I understand yeah. exactly what she's talking about. Okay, so if a company obeys net neutrality, that means that they're for the people. They're for uh, free voice competition on the internet without having to... Um, you know, basically they're well, not... Supposedly, if it's they supposed to be voted on... According to someone, it said, um, we can petition tonight, but it's the yeah. last night. They're going to vote on this tomorrow. I see it. I'm, I'm looking right here. See, I, I didn't think you... I didn't think it was for real, because based on what I'm seeing here from battleforthenet.com, this looks like it's been going on for a while. In fact, this video... Um, this the the um, person I was speaking to, I don't want to say her name... But um, she said they kept it on the down low until it's almost too late to do anything about it. Well, yeah, and that, that's not cool. That's not cool. I've heard about it before. Net neutrality, what it is. Have you guys just, to, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you, Brian. Are you, are it's you, okay. I've got an article okay. to present, a couple of articles, actually, that, uh, that, that actually validate what she's saying right here. Right, of course. So let me know when you got when you're through, Look, Ty. Go, go, ahead. go ahead, man. Bring up those, bring up those articles because I had a, a I got them. point to demonstrate that neutrality and what it is in in practice. I know what it is. I can give you a great example, and everybody will understand exactly what it is. But you go right ahead. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Um, I found a couple of articles here. Uh, just found this one a few seconds ago, actually, um, by clicking on the net neutrality definition, and. Teresa's right. She read straight from the book what the definition actually means, uh, which took me here. Fortune magazine, uh, Grace Donnelly. It was updated uh, December 13th, 12.01 p.m. Eastern. The Federal Communications Commission, it says here, will vote Thursday, December 14th, on a proposal to repeal. They want to repeal this yeah, net neutrality. Uh, that's why this is important. Yes. 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 You do not... You do not want to take away your freedom. By repealing net neutrality, um, it, it's going to take away some freedom. The FCC, made up of three Republicans and two Democrats, is expected to approve the proposal along partisan lines 
dismantling the Obama era policy that requires internet providers to treat all web traffic equally. So in other words, they're going to police the traffic, your web traffic. Right. That's yeah. not right. good. That's not no, good. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Brian, I, was okay. I don't want to interrupt you again, Brian. It no, you're fine. Like, Go ahead. Okay. What it is, the neutrality is this. If it doesn't make sense, there's a buck in it. But what you're worried about is privacy concerns. Okay. Yes. That's yes. what you're worried about. I believe it's going to be all encompassing. Without net neutrality, the prices are, are going to go up. They're going to you're going to pay just like you pay for more bandwidth for more speed. Okay, I believe they're going to have peak times and low times, and I believe you're going to have to pay to play. That's what I think is going to happen. But that, there, there's no other reason for it except to make money. If it doesn't make sense, there's a buck in it. Now, for advocates of it, will go well. You know, if it's some terrorist group or it's this or it's that, we can turn it off. And that's what they're going to say. Net neutrality allowed equal play for everybody. It doesn't matter if you were on the left. It doesn't matter if you were on the right. It doesn't matter if you're in the middle. And certainly wouldn't matter if you don't care. But net neutrality out the window, they would get a say in it. And no one knows what they're thinking. Comcast would not operate the same way that Verizon does. Verizon wouldn't operate the same way that this other company does. And they for sure would limit your ability. So let's say for us, us in the affected in the ME community, if they said that they didn't like us, oh, it would take this one person to go, you're done. And we have no more access to anything because they slowed us down to a trickle. Now, in practicality, they do that on cell phones. On cell phones, if you use too much data, what happens? Does your data speed they, slow down? They yes. Typically, they throttle it down. Yeah, that's what happens. Correct. And that's exactly what will happen to us with net neutrality. That's what will happen. We won't so, be able so, to get online. We won't be able to stay online. We won't have strong right. connection. And there'll be nothing that we can do. But see, I'm wondering, Ty and Teresa here, I'm help me out, guys. Are they doing this possibly to get us talking and, and uh, just to see, you know, just kind of throwing it out there? Because they're going to have a lot of protesting going on. It says here, uh, apparently there's going to be hundreds of protesters are expected outside the FCC on Thursday. Yep. Uh, advocates for the net neutrality are preparing to sue in the wake of the vote. So you can better mm -hmm. believe it that um, that people are going to be outside that uh, building uh, with pickets and, and everything. And advocates advocates yeah. of net neutrality just want the freedom to do stuff. The opposition of net neutrality says, what about pornography? What about hate groups? We need control. That's what they're saying. And okay, so course, that's that's on their side. That's that's on the other side yes. of the fence. That's uh, that's gray area material. Exactly. But the idea is that all free speech, all speech must be free. But we're not about free speech. We're talking about the internet. And can they control it? The FCC has a right to. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. You know, they, they they control it. I mean, in the United States, of course, they control it, and that, that's what they're doing. They do it in China. You know, they do it in China. You know, they do it in North Korea. So, can they do it here? Yes. But I think if it doesn't make sense, there's a buck in it, and I think they're going to turn it around to try to make even more money. That's all. That's all what it comes down to. I don't think they really care what you and I think. I think they care what you and I. Hey, Teresa, are you still sense? there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just making sure I hadn't lost you because I had to click I'm just out of something. So upset about this. I know. Of course. Well, be. but no, no matter, it won't go in effect for, for quite some time. Well, that that is true, it, and it, and, it, and, it, and it, like it, any, like anything, yeah. it could it. If we stand up together, we can fight it and get it out of there. That's the thing. I I think honestly, they're trying to get us to think a little bit, and 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 although they didn't give us much time to respond, see, it would it would be different. If uh, if we had a year to prepare, you know, but we're talking about they're going to vote tomorrow. That's is that the scenario, guys? Is that what's happening? Uh, from what I understand, but I, I don't like. really think I don't really think they're going to. They're, uh, they're uh, the, the Republicans are all for freedom. You understand, all for freedom and and less government, more freedom. You understand, right? More more access for, for you, um, and and uh, actually the left is more governmental control they okay. want more control so right. i would think that well this is what happens when uh based on what i'm seeing here in this article if we take this article 100 percent gold pound for pound okay 
uh, what will the internet look like without net neutrality? It says, without the assurance of net neutrality, large internet companies could favor their own business interests. Telecom course, giants course, like, just like... Just like Facebook does, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to lobby lawmakers in the coming days and weeks. Uh, it says, net neutrality could affect everything from internet speed to overall access. So, uh, in the eliminating it means that uh, internet providers can ca uh, carve up service into fast and slow speed, slow lanes, right. uh, charging more for higher speeds. Comcast could demand fees from Netflix. Oh, that's bad. Uh, so, for example, in exchange for pref uh, preferential treatment in response to the FCC plan, Netflix took to Twitter to show strong support for net. So Netflix, you better believe it. They're going to get their attorneys because uh, you know they're going to be charged an arm and a leg, and that and therefore they'll have to pass you the buck. Right, so right. how would you guys? Let me just like say that. they've always done this. Well, think of the old phone. Think of the old phone lines when they used to charge for long distance, and in businesses right. they would charge. This is different than they would charge the consumers, and they would charge businesses outrageous fees. Just to call without on the nope. outside of the area, not necessarily long distance to the consumer, but to the businesses, they drew new lines. You see, so they they, they can play games like that, or they have played games like that in the past. They should say so. Yeah, we should be concerned. Sure, right. We'll be paying more money. Right. This is this is. You're right, Ty. You're absolutely right. And uh, you know, this is this is something I found uh, in this article. This is from Twitter. With with net neutrality, um, it's all one price. You pay fifty four ninety nine a month, right? Well, now without net neutrality, you're gonna have video, email, gaming, social media. Everything's gonna be a separate price. It'll be a la carte. Uh, yeah, face, that's in other words, that's speculation. Yeah, this it, it could be speculation. You're right. Um, it, it is all it is all speculation, sure, but it would be outrageous price. Outrageous. Right, right, social right. Social media they're going to charge fifty bucks a month for Facebook. Right, right. Sure. All these prices here aren't exact to a T. That's just an estimate. So, so, you know, but still, you don't want to have to pay a la carte for these services that you're already getting right now for one flat fee. Yeah, but looking at my crystal ball, so to speak, I can use that term. You yeah. know that Facebook has to be beyond breaking up net neutrality because they would make money hand over fist. There's not only there was this article, and you you also have to keep in mind that the media is all banded together. You know what I'm saying? So it could just be farce. It, it, it could be a farce information. But yeah, this is the one. Uh, the you, have you ever heard of the Verge guys? Uh, no, no, it's funny. I don't mind. Okay, Ty. I don't mind at all. I think it's funny. Yeah. But so. I think that is the media, from what you read, is the media for net neutrality or against net neutrality? Um, so far as we know, the media is is for net neutrality. Uh, Comcast, right. here, here, this article says, and this is December 13th today, uh, 8, or excuse me, 626 p.m. So this, Comcast says it loves net neutrality, hugs it to death. Of course. Well, let, let's course, just pray right. it does. I would think that they would because no one has cable anymore. Everybody's going to Netflix, so they're losing money by the bushels. They're losing so much money, they've got to find a new revenue stream, and this could be it. To, uh, this could to, be it. You, mean, you mean to ter overturn net neutrality? Yeah, to, yes, because they need money. Comcast needs money, so does Time Warner. I mean, there's, there's a million cable companies out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, they... They know they could make a power a power move, but the only thing is, it's gonna it's gonna like upset a lot of folks, you know. Yeah, of course. Um, which, I mean, it's gonna kill their stock. Uh, not money, not just revenue. not just that more not just that lawsuits. You're looking at lawsuits, all kinds of yeah, stuff. We won't, we won't see anything for at least a year. We won't see anything for at least a year. So they're just so what? tomorrow. So tomorrow, what's just gonna happen is they're just gonna vote on it. Is that right? Yes. If they want to go can can we participate on the voting? Won't be anything. No. 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 It's FCC. It's FCC. FCC vote. It's nothing. Okay, and we have three Republicans, two Democrats on that committee. Is that right? We said. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't I don't think they're going to go anywhere with it because there's three Republicans and two Democrats. Not that that means anything because Republicans can go either way. Republicans only go one. Way. Democrats only go one way. You know that. Yeah, they they band together. They don't. They don't. Uh, they don't. There's no descending vote. Dissenting vote 
with Democrats when it comes to Republicans. So the Democrats are definitely going to vote one way, and the Republicans could be split. So you might be looking at a tie. But still, it's a regulatory agency. It's F- FCC is like the IRS. They're going to decide what they do. That's all. They're going to they're, they're going to decide what they do. That's all. Yeah. You know that. So uh, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But um, you know, I, I think everything will be okay. I don't think it will affect this for quite some time. You know, it's not going to be it's it's not going to be mm-hmm. one of those things, guys, where it's going to be it's fun. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. No. Well, you see prices. You see the prices of our cable bill, of our internet bills, come down over and over again over the years. Okay, it's, it's coming down. They obviously need a new revenue stream, so I can see them doing something, but I can't see it being anything as outrageous as they're saying. No, because nobody. If, if, if internet was five hundred dollars a month, like it or not, we wouldn't have it. We wouldn't have it. You know, we just we go on our phones, and that's all we would do. On our phones, we'd be on Facebook on our phones. We wouldn't be using anything else but our phones. That's it. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's gonna. It's basically gonna drive the market in a new direction, and and of course, supply and demand. They're not gonna. You know, they're they're, they're just gonna lose popularity, and and people are gonna be smart about it. They're gonna switch providers. You know, that's that's how we drive the market. Okay. Conspiracy theory suggests a simple thing. It's simply if they can do it. If they can do something, they are going to do it. It's not the question doesn't doesn't come up whether it's right or wrong. Are they able to do it? Yes or no. Yes, they are. Then they will. If they are not able to do it, they won't do it. So right now they're trying to break net neutrality for more control. You saw that with Homeland Security. You saw that with our with our phones being tapped. You saw they're listening to everything all the time, all the time. You know that. It's been that way for many years. It didn't used to be that way. But after 9-11, everything's tech. Everything's 24-7. Everything is. Everything that we do. Okay? And we, we allowed that. Why, why did we allow that? Because we we, did, we allowed that because of terrorism. But then they, they said it needed to be done. Then it became super secret. Now you know it's being done. And, and no one's even, no one is even debating it anymore. Everyone knows everything's being yeah, well, the thing the thing is okay. they they've been starting this since uh like Obama I think it was what 2011 is that when it was when they started like really cracking down on the internet? Yes, it had to because be around it that from, time. It went from Al Gore over to Obama. Was Al, Al Gore created the internet? You understand? And then it was Obama. Of course, he wanted to, it was a net neutrality, and now we're going to go into something else now. I hope oh. they will be okay. I I don't. <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's going to be okay. I think it's too right. big of a, of a fish. Well, what, what about what about things like you know because there's services out there like VPNs. People use VPNs to, to hide themselves. They're uh, they from the internet. You know, from the outside. Uh-huh. You can you can actually okay. get around certain websites with those. Correct. Uh, would we be able to would the, would the ISP even know we did something with that? Um, to the effect. You would know you're you're in the computer field. I'm right. just a hack. I'm just a hack. Uh, I don't know anything. No, so but I only, I only know so, what I read. But what I'm saying is, um, you know, there's always a, a loophole, in my opinion, or a way around something. In this yes, case, yes, there is. Yeah. Yes, there is. But there's a way to defeat all those. Remember the yep. old scrambling devices for the cable boxes. Remember the these scramblers they would sell. Yep. Okay, it was illegal to even have one of those things. Okay. Mm-hmm. But there was a way around them. And then they came out with a better box than the scrambling devices you couldn't even use anymore. It took them a long time, but you couldn't even use them anymore, the these scramblers, right? Yeah. I think it's much the same way here. I believe you're going to be able to do something for a little while, but after that, no. They're going to come out with something else. That's all. So this vote, because uh, I'm looking at a different article here from Washington Post. Uh, this is from November 21st. And so apparently there was a little bit of a warning here, but see, I didn't hear about anything until I did tonight. You did? You heard something about yes. it? Yes. Yes. They've been talking about it. I know. I knew that it was bad. I, I knew that. What if you hear anything like that? That's why I said it's double speak when they said net neutrality. And I said double speak mm-hmm. because net neutrality is, is good. But when they talk about net neutrality, they're talking about overthrowing net neutrality. That's what they're talking about. You're talking about getting rid of them, Joe.
Ty, you there? Yes, I am. Uh, Teresa, are you there? I'm here, yes. You can talk. It, you know, I haven't, I haven't heard really a peep out of you over there, Teresa. Um, do you want to say something to, to any of this or to I'm, add it? I'm trying to understand I'm how sorry. this is going to affect us. I'm trying to figure it out. How it's going to affect us. It's not going to Which way? Just, it, it, Todd, what Ty is saying is it won't happen right away. Uh, hopefully, uh -huh. it won't happen right away. No. And because People how how, so how would you? Teresa, Teresa, Brian, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but just no, to, you're fine. just to just to make you understand, feel a little bit better, Teresa. Okay. People are so connected to their phones. Not you. Not Brian. Okay? People are so connected to their phones. Those teenagers. Those twenty somethings. They're so connected yeah. to their phones. It's their livelihood. Everything will be fine. You will not. You will not know anything about it. You will not be, be party to this uh, at all. You'll not be affected by this like you think you will be. Okay. If anything happens to those twenty somethings, to those teenagers on their phones, believe me, you'll hear about it from them first. Okay. You know what I mean? They will be crying in the streets. They will be crying. They won't even go to school anymore. They'll be so well, how will it affect them then? How will it affect the younger ones? I don't know how it would affect the younger ones. Uh, no, no, I guess how would it affect them? if the price goes outrageous and mom and dad can't afford it anymore, it would affect the younger ones because they wouldn't have phones. That's nope. how it would affect the younger ones. No, nope. too crazy. They're gonna say they're gonna say get a job. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, which, no. would not, which would not happen. They'd no. upset the apple cart. No. They're not gonna do something like that just before Christmas. They're not gonna do that. No way. So who is this, Mister Pie? I I don't know who this Mister Pie is. Uh, he's Part of the FCC, I guess. Okay. He's a minority member. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'm just finding I mean, out about this now. Guys. I know, me too. They, they've pretty much awoken a sleeping giant here. And who is that sleeping giant? The Mandela Effect community. Uh, we, yeah, we are no, wide. We are actually. Too, huh? We are wide you're awake. You're talking about silencing people. When, you, yeah. when they talk about silent, when they talk about silencing terrorists, they're talking about silencing an opposing voice, and that would definitely include people like us. The Mandela yes. community is much too small, and they would silence us immediately. Yeah. Well, they're calling. As they're a, calling as it as has, a, uh, one speech. The chairman of the agency called the complaints hysteria and hot air. See, that's what they're not even listening to the opposition here. That's the thing. Well, I got something. I got something from Fortune magazine right here five hours ago. You want to hear what it is? They, uh, they printed something saying what to expect from the vote. What the, it, that right. neutrality vote happens Thursday. Hopefully, I can see it, and I'm not blocked from the from the article. It says here that uh, they will vote at 10:30 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Okay, wow. it has the potential to radically affect the uh, internet as we know it. It's A G I T H Git Pi. That's the commissioner of the FCC. And he was appointed to the post by Trump. He's proposed reclassifying internet providers from utilities to information companies. And it's due to vote on it Thursday. So that's the point, guys. The ISPs. From utilities, which is what they are now, because they're basically telephone companies. You understand? Yep. Do you, under, you understand that? From yeah. utilities to information companies. If the vote goes along the party lines, the net neutrality will be repealed, and the internet providers will be able to legally control the speed of the internet because they're no longer control of the government because they're a utility. Utilities like your gas company, your phone companies, they have to follow strict guidelines by the government. If they're no longer utilities but information companies, they're not under those guidelines. Does that make sense? Like our power bills and gas bills and stuff like that? No, no, no. Gas companies and electric companies, you understand the gas company just can't come and turn you off for non payment. The gas company has very, very strict rules to follow. If you have a disabled person in your house, if you're sick, something, there are ways around it. 
he can even go to the government and say, look, gas company. Oh, yeah. Besides that, gas companies have very strict pricing guidelines, and that's the point. Very strict pricing guidelines from the gas company, and very strict pricing guidelines by the electric company. And same with your phone companies. Phone companies have some yeah. guidelines, Ty? too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ty, Teresa? Yes. Yeah. I have some neighbors that live around me that um, uh -huh. they've got small kids. Yes. Uh, uh, t their kids are around the same age as my son. And they're twins, and they 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 have like ADHD and autism, mm -hmm. and they have to have their devices. If they don't have their devices, they're gonna they're gonna throw fits. Yeah, that's, that yeah. could be very it's, well. It's, the case, it, but it could be bad. About, this is not about that. I know. This is just about changing, changing it to another type of company, from a utility to an information. Okay. Yep. Um, I know. We're probably you're probably gonna uphold the vote. Okay, they're probably going to uphold that neutrality, but they might pit some guy. I, I'm guessing here. Okay, I'm spitballing. There's probably going to be okay? some guidelines. You're right. They're, they're probably going to change the guidelines. They're probably going to make it so you know we're going to keep that neutrality, but we're going to allow you to be a different kind of company. You know, because it's money. It's money, 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 money. Does that make sense? If it, if it makes money, they're going to go. Okay. Most seriously is the issue. Listen to this. Most issue is the issue is whether the FCC's commenting system has been compromised. It says that two million comments submitted to the FCC were fake, and you stole the identities of real Americans. So you see, even when they try to get into the vote, try to get opinions, they're saying that we can't even get that. You can understand? It's talking about cyber attacks. It's talking about all sorts of stuff. It says many many are wondering: Does President Trump support net neutrality? With his penchant for hands-off regulation, it's easy to assume that he doesn't. Other than putting his support in Pi, the guy, the, the, the leader of it, Trump hasn't weighed, weighed in at all. Okay? So, his, his Twitter thing for Donald Trump from 2014 says, Obama's attack on the internet is another top-down power grab. Net neutrality is the fairness doctrine. Will target conservative media. And they did. He's right. But like I said, you're probably gonna you're probably gonna keep that neutrality, but there's probably gonna be some loopholes for these companies. That's my guess. That's my guess. If that makes sense. It makes sense and the the reason why we got into this mess, I, uh, this one guy says in, in the uh, in the forum here is that Verizon sued the FCC to have the twenty ten open internet order overturned, which is um, that's what happened, and the FCC chairman, whose name rhymes with a, he said a <laughs> S-H-I-T pie, <laughs> right, right. was a former lawyer for Verizon. That's him. That's the, uh, what's his name, Ajit? His name is Ajit. Yes, Ajit pie. Ajit pie. Yeah. Yes. And Verizon's not a better eth ethical choice. They might actually be worse, it says here. Uh, so... I don't what know, we're God. worried about is Big Brother. That's what we're worried about. We're worried about an Orwellian Big Brother type thing, and that's 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 pretty much what we might be getting. Regardless, we need some stopgap measure there. We need that neutrality to stop them from being Big Brother, but Big Brother rather. But I got to tell you, uh, it's already here. We just don't know about it. It's already it, here. It sounds. It is, my analogy would be that the FBI, the CIA, the Justice Department, they were already listening to our phone calls. Don't you understand? After 9-11, everybody would cut everything. But they were already listening. That's all. They just couldn't use it in court. That's all. Do that's, that's, you see the difference? That, 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 they already have it. So it doesn't, it doesn't really see matter. It. I'm only worried about the amount of money it's going to cost us. I, I don't want our rates to go through the roof, and I don't want our access to be limited. That's all. Exactly. Um, I feel the same. I feel the same way. I feel the same way, Ty. And I'm really glad you guys could come on and talk about this with me because uh, I know it was bugging Teresa and it was bugging me too. I know. Teresa, I know. You feel better. You feel better now, Teresa, Brian, talking it out. Word out for the public, Brian. Yeah, I'm gonna put this video out there for you guys. Um, we'll get get yeah, the word yeah. out you know it's it's not fake news this is this is real it's on several news networks uh it's going to no. be the vote tomorrow i don't know what time it, the vote is uh do you know what time 
Yeah, ten thirty in the morning. Ten thirty in the morning. Ten thirty in the morning tomorrow. Oh, wow. That's why I just pulled up for fortune. But it's like ten 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 thirty in the morning EST. On it, we'll see what wow. happens. And uh, just a disclaimer: I'm not an expert. All opinions are mine. <laughs> so, uh, are two yeah, well, there's an expert, there's... just a guy. <laughs> We're just, no, guys, but really, uh, you know, we're just here to uh, forward the news on up to you guys. Um, sure. We try to collect as much information as we can. Isn't that right, Ty? Yes, to and to I, form... I believe we're going to hear all about it tomorrow in the next news cycle. We're going to hear all about it. We're going to hear page after page, and the Internet's going to light up about it. Yeah, as long as there's awareness of something, then it, then there is then it, there it is in existence, right? It's right. kind of like that double slit experiment. So, uh, I, I, I really do appreciate you having us on and, uh, any comments are appreciated, of course. And, uh, yeah, Ty, what, what I like about you, I mean, you, you bring an unbiased opinion into the group. So I, I really love having you on. Oh, I am completely biased. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I, I really, I really do appreciate your channel. I really I really do. Uh, and subscribe to Brian's channel. He puts out really good stuff. Teresa is a, a great help to us. Yeah. Hi, Teresa. Teresa, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just... Yeah. Teresa, Teresa, Teresa's on, on, on the coast. I just... She's, uh, far west, so it's later there for her. I'm sure she's very tired, but we really do appreciate our, our residual queen. Yeah. Thank you, Teresa. You're welcome. I guess we'll find out tomorrow what's going to happen, right, guys? Yes. You'll know yes. before you'll know before me because I'm three hours behind you. So, um, Absolutely. And Brian, if you get any updates on tomorrow, what happens? Will you do a video? Because I will be at work when this happens, and I don't know if you're able to do a video. Are you Ty? Yeah. Uh, what? Well, we'll get more information tomorrow, correct? Yeah, we're going to get more information tomorrow, and uh, it it might be something, Ty, we can talk about Friday, you know, for a little bit anyways. Uh, that would be perfect, guys, on a Friday live show. You can mention that if you want, about Friday's show. Ty, you there? Well, I guess... Is Ty? Yeah, he might, he might have went to sleep. It's okay. Hey, guys, I want to thank everyone for watching. Show, and uh, What? Ryan? You want to talk about Friday's show? Yeah, Friday's show. Uh, we're we're gonna have a real, like, bang up discussion. We've got um, Ty and Troy coming on. We also have, uh, we have rumors that Unirock is coming on, and so is uh, we we may have Laszlo. Hopefully, he'll join us. And oh, that'd be uh, awesome. yeah, that would be really awesome. And we may have a, a, another appearance from our friend Dr. Lupo. So guys, stay tuned. Stay I tuned. Love him. Uh, Ten o'clock Eastern. Uh, we're. I'm, be, it's only because I have a Christmas party to attend this Friday. After the Christmas you party, I'm coming right over here. What? Watch the eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I never drink the eggnog without sniffing it first. <laughs> we, we don't need you. We don't need you loopy on the show. <laughs> no, no loopiness. All right. No loopy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Have a okay. great evening. Good night, uh, everyone. We'll see you Friday. God bless. Okay.